In this video, we are going to talk about how to create events on your WordPress website by just using a simple plugin. So if you want to showcase some events on your WordPress website, then this video is for you. Hi, my name is Ankit and welcome to Magazine 3 YouTube channel where we talk about everything related to WordPress. And if you want to learn more about that, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. So let's dive in in our backend and see how we can create events on our WordPress website. So here we are in our WordPress backend and in order to create events, we need to install a plugin. So we will go to plugins and then click on add new. And then we will search for the events calendar. And this is the event calendar plugin that we are going to use. It's free of cost. So let's go ahead and install it now and then click on activate. All right. So our plugin is activated. And here on the left hand side, we see that a new post type that is events as added here. And here we can view all the events, add new. We also have tags and categories for events. And we also have some custom taxonomies like venues, organizers, and we can import and do various settings. So we can go to settings from here or you can choose this option here. So let's go in settings and see how we can configure this. All right. So under general settings, the first option is number of events to show per page. So right now it's 12. You can select any number you want. Next is activate block editor for events. So if you are using block editor, you can turn this option on. After that, we have comments. So let's enable that as well. After that, we have show custom fields meta box. So if in case you want to add custom fields from the WordPress backend in your event post, so you can add this option here. After that, we have include events in main blog loop. So when you publish a post, the event post will also get listed in those loops. So I would prefer not to select that and keep all the events in a particular category. After that, we have the URL slug for all the events. And then we have the end date for cutoff. That is all the events will add at 12 a.m. After that, we have the currency symbol. And here we have an option to merge duplicate entries of venues or organizers. And next we have option to delete events which are older than we can choose the time here. So maybe we can choose three months here. And after that, we have permanently delete old events. So we can choose maybe nine months or one year from here. And after that, we have some general settings that you can leave as it is. So let's click on save changes. And after that, we have display option. So you can select how the events will look like. So you can leave all the things as it is. After that, we have license. So if in case you want, you can upgrade to their pro plans. And after that, we have filters. So you can add some filters on the event page to search a specific kind of event. And that can be done by buying their online pro add-ons. So if you wish, you can go ahead and check them out. After that, we have integrations. So you can integrate Google map with the Google map API. And after that, we have import options. So you can import data from your various calendars or CSV. So now let's go ahead and create a new event. So we will go to add new here we have the blog editor. So first we will give the name for the event. So maybe we can type in recipe workshop. So the date of the event we can select from here and here below that we have an option to select the start and the ending time. After that we can add some sample description and we also have an option to add price. But just in case you are not selling event tickets so you can remove this block from here. After that we can add organizers. So we can add organizer from here. And if it is the first time we are entering this name, so this will be added in the organizer list. So you can enter rest of the details about the organizer. And after that, we have an option to find venue. So we can create a new venue here. And if the event got any URL, so you can paste it here. So just in case you are hosting this event from any other website, so you can enter the detail here. And after that, we have an option to add this to our Google Calendar or iCalendar. And on the right hand side, we can give a permanent link to this particular event. And after that, we have tags, we have category and feature image. So let's upload one. So maybe we can use this image. And at the bottom, we have option for hiding this from event listing. 
and make it as sticky on month view and we can also feature this event below that we have event status so we can set that to scheduled cancel or postpone and this is how it looks in the front end so here are all the details that we have entered and at the bottom people can add that to google calendar or iCalendar. and if we go back in all events this is how the event listing looks like and we can do a month wise listing so this is showing the calendar view where we can see the month as well as the event listed here and once someone clicks on this it goes directly to the event page and we can also choose day wise or we can come back to list view along with that if you have a lot of events listed on your website your visitors can even search here for the event so this is how easy it is to create and list events on your wordpress website and with this plugin you can even create a full event based website and that's what we are going to build in the next video so if you have any questions regarding this plugin or wordpress in general then make sure you leave that in the comment section below if you like this video then make sure you hit the like button and to watch more videos like this subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video and if you need any expert help regarding your website you can connect with us using the link given in the video description below so that's it for this one and i'll see you in the next video